I'm in one of the most resilient markets in the whole of Europe. Welcome to the Alps. The Alps are the world's primary ski destination, with 37% of homes being sold here in Savoie as holiday homes. And over the last 10 years, prices have risen over 30%, 6% in the last two. Our partners here in the Alps sold to over 40 different nationalities last year and have over 55 different agents working across the region. The French are investing in the Alps in no small way, 3.4 billion euros in fact. 2 billion euros set aside for tourism alone with a massive emphasis on increasing summer activities and improving connections between resorts and ski slopes. In fact, the authorities are investing over 200 million euros in replacing and improving the lifts across the entire region. Yeah. Fancy a long weekend in the Alps, just over one hour's drive from Geneva Airport, and you can be in resorts like Leger here. I recorded this pre-season and a scattering of snow had already arrived a little early. Leger gets excellent snow when the season truly kicks off and those in the know are starting to choose this tasteful, well-run destination which is becoming known for its stylish shops, easy access to Geneva and also its reputation for gastronomy, including a growing number of Michelin star restaurants. As a result, planning has been granted for a number of new apartments and the growth of hotels is actively being encouraged by the local mayor, meaning it could be a really good time to invest. Leger is part of Port de Soleil, one of the world's largest ski areas, and 600 kilometers of slopes are going to give you a good workout. Finish a lovely day skiing with that burn in your legs and you've probably still got a five or a 10 minute ride back to your chalet, maybe even a bus journey, unless like this chalet, you'll ski in, ski out. Nestled in a secluded private wood, this farmhouse is right next to the slopes of Leger, neatly in line with Mont Blanc, and boasts extensive views from its impressively quiet location. Once inside, the living room manages to feel bright and spacious and quite vast, but also warm and cosy. The wood in this chalet isn't just structural, it's almost proud of itself. And we're seeing it in all its glory. This original beam is 600 years old, whilst the supports above are newer Epicea. And the walls have this rosé, which is sandblasted, baked and brushed to give this darker look. Downstairs, the ceilings are reclaimed cheesewood, geometrically positioned and framed by the pelmet lighting. Outside, the exterior is super thick, Siberian brushed larch. This poltroni kitchen is obviously very attractive, but it's not style over substance. In fact, without giving away who the owners are, this is very much a, a chef's kitchen. Once you've made your food, you can deliver it right through to your ravenous guests sitting in front of the sandstone fire. Five elegant bedrooms, each with access to a terrace or balcony, and crucially, an ensuite bathroom with most featuring a roll top bath and separate shower. Attention to detail in this property is both notable and reassuring. The property is fully pre wired for internet and sound. And every fixture, every door handle, or picture frame has been carefully thought through, chosen, and installed. There's wine storage for 650 bottles, a double garage and parking on a gravel driveway for eight cars. And then there's something else. An additional plot with constructible land should you wish to build your own spa or second chalet. For more information about this particular chalet or indeed anywhere else in the world, please visit hamptons-international.com. <laughs>